Well, I'll just look at these as if I needed reminding that the summer is slipping away. Most beautiful crop of small, if rosy red, eating apples. And this tree usually does very, very well. But one thing I've noticed this season is the amount of uh, bird damage we're getting on these apples. Um, much more than usual. I don't know why they're particularly coming and uh, starting to eat these so early in the season. Notice them both on these reds but also on these Bramleys. And you see that's a typical example of uh, where the birds have just laid into a opportunely positioned apple next to a perch. Lots of fruit on this tree, but it's all again still quite small. And again, that's a lovely example of where the birds have opened it up and then the wasps take over. So I'm not sure what the end crop's going to be like this year. Lots of small ones. We haven't had a particularly good June drop because of all the rain. And I think I'm probably going to have to pick this apple tree over, which at least I can do on something this scale. It's not too big, quite a young tree. It's probably only about 15 years old and has been pruned quite aggressively to keep the low branch shape to make picking the apples easy. Each year is different, particularly in a fruit orchard. Some trees have done really well this year. I thought it was going to be a spectacular year at blossom time because we had such a good flow of blossom and there was no late frosts. So the set was excellent, but it's been problematic since then for them. The flowers through in this little bit of the old vegetable garden have been really surprisingly good despite the weather and one of the big success stories have been these Astromeria that we're growing in pots not what you consider as a usual bedding choice but wow was it a good punt just look at the volume of flowers and the height that we're getting on that it's repeat flowered beautifully and there's plenty more coming on just look at the young buds forming here and the stems just it keeps on giving this plant planted in quite a rich compost Underplanted with some geraniums and a begonia, which are just about swamped by the Alstromeria. And the one on the other side's done just as well. A few little white geraniums, which were the stars of last year, but it really has been the Alstromeria in these pots that have given us the wow factor, particularly with the jewel planting from my barn window in here. That's the end view that I get every morning. Isn't that great? Backdrop, too much yellow fennel. This is bronze fennel, a bit of green fennel, all self-seeded into this old border. Um, it's blocked the view, the long view down towards the old vegetable cage. There's a lovely red sorrel in the uh, back planting there and a lot of dahlias which have just been uh, a little lost. And the other big bonuses that we planted at the end of last season didn't think they were going to do too much because they struggled to get a, a grip of being these hydrangeas really lovely blasts of big flower heads and they've been this pure white for about two to three weeks now just starting to brown off but the color contrast in front of that green upright behind them with the bright orange day lilies and then the Autumn daisies behind those. Got a little bit of purple loose strife. Then it gets a little bit mucky behind there, as you can see. Our building site almost completely obstructed by a living fence of bindweed, which is just absolutely loving it. And I'm just letting it go because, well, you can, it is pretty enough. Although I know I'm going to regret that. I think all that's going to be dug out using a mini digger over the next couple of months when they come to do the landscaping, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. The garden here, as I say, it's in a calm phase. You tend to go into August and a lot of the early flowering plants are finished. The big flush of roses that we had here earlier in the season, which are always so spectacular, now completely finished. Just a little flush of late colour coming in there. So it's all about the whites, greens and yellows right now. And it's quite calming, particularly in the evening light when it just starts to get a little bit dim. That's when these colours really pop. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that mini tour of the garden. As things develop, we'll show you the progress. Got lots to do this weekend. 
I'm particularly keen. I'm going to do a video and show you these hostas in pots because these, again, have been a real success story over the course of the last six months on the back of this barn. They've done so well. Quite a few new varieties have been added, but they've stood the test of time, virtually slug free, and they're still looking absolutely wonderful. And the poodle agrees, of course, he always does. Anything for a quiet life, hey Ted? Yeah, say goodbye. Thanks for watching.